since April 5th. JJ and Amari Stoudemire here with us. And JJ, I want to start with you. Is this a big deal or no big deal that he hasn't taken a shot since April 5th? Uh, this is not a big deal at all. Every professional athlete has an off-season routine. Amari, let me ask you a question. Talk to me. Objectively, I'm, I'm probably <laughs> somewhere in the top 10 or 15 greatest shooters of all time. Yeah. Probably. I'll give you that. Okay. Yes, I'll give I, you that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you both. I appreciate it. Give but that. my point yeah. to that is I didn't take a shot in any offseason until after July 4th. It didn't matter if we lost in the first round, conference finals, finals, whatever. I took time to get my body right. I spent all of May, all of June in the weight room doing mobility, doing Pilates, doing con conditioning. I got my body right. And then once July 4th weekend happened, I was in there six days a week shooting. I take Saturdays off. I know a lot of guys across the NBA that follow a similar routine. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. And a few years ago, they ran an article about Brandon Payne, his trainer, and Steph and the work they do in the offseason. And they provided his schedule in the offseason. And there were these long breaks in between shooting. Steph would only do work in four-day segments at a time. And he all, would always take some time off after the season to get his body right. This is completely normal. And Anthony Davis talked about his off-season schedule in response to the backlash against this, right. the guy has been working on his body. And if we're talking about Anthony Davis and, and, and what he needs to work on, it's right. making sure right. he's available to yep. play. This is not a big deal at all. This is completely uh, uh, normal, Stephen A. Mm -hmm. uh, but listen, can I, can I deviate from this subject just for a second before I address your point? Because I got a lot of issues with some of the points that you mentioned. But I have to ask a question, Mr. Top Gun, uh, uh, because you're a good-looking <laughs> dude. I got to give credit where credit is due. Could you? Could, do, do, does the Pilates work? I'm just curious. Uh -oh. I've never tried it. Does, it. does it work? You know, I started doing Pilates when I was a senior at Duke. And even to this day, I don't work out anymore. I still do my Pilates once a week. It is the best workout. On a reformer? I, I, I do reformer, mat. Well, yeah, I do classical Pilates. There's different does schools it work on the core? Does it work on it the core? It works on the core. Works on the core. It, I had back problems early in my career, and it has kept, it has kept me right for the last... 16 years since okay. I started doing it. All right, all right. Because I'm going to try. Highly recommend, that's, Stephen A. That's what I'm going to Highly ask. recommend. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try it. I appreciate the advice. Now let me get on you for that ridiculous take that you just spewed to the American public, okay? <laughs> How dare you show up on national TV and spew the nonsense that you just spewed? I will remind everybody... We are talking to a guy by the name of J.J. Reddick. We just listened to one of the most ridiculous takes he will ever give on national television. Amari <laughs> Stoudemire, J.J. Reddick is a what? career for J.J. Reddick, Mr. Top Gun himself, okay, oh is a career 41.5% shooter from three-point range. In other words, you could afford to wait until the summer to shoot. Anthony Davis is fresh off of shooting 18% from three-point range. 18%. The season before that, it was 26%. What the hell are you talking about? It's, uh, it's no big deal. It's no big deal when it's you, because like you said, you could shoot. So you could take time off. But how do you ready. think? But you how do you think I got to become a forty-one point four percent three-point shooter? It's it's good. How do you think I got there, Stephen A? It's, it wasn't by shooting in April and May. Time out. Time out. I don't have to think about it. I'm watching a career with J.J. Redick that shows every single year in the high thirties to the forty percent shooting. Every right. single damn year of your career. This dude shot 18% from three-point range. And you're going to tell me that after you, the you missed the playoffs, you missed the play-in with LeBron James as your teammate, and you don't work on – you're not working on your shooting. You used to be shooting every day. You used to be shooting Let when you land down with your kid playing around. You used to be shooting Nerf basketballs. You used to be shooting in garbage cans. You used to be shooting at, You should go to the restaurant <laughs> and throw the damn seat What's into this? the garbage. I don't give a damn what it is. He you got to shoot something. Advice. Maybe you would have shot even that, better. That, that, hold on, that Molly. Hold on, Molly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on Molly. Last yep. point before Amari goes. Yep. Anthony Davis, when healthy, is a top seven player on the planet. Mm -hmm. I want him to know that's how I think about him. Anthony Davis is big time when healthy. But there is no getting around how glaringly absent his perimeter shooting was this past season and the season before that. It's something that happened to it. 
And the bottom line is for you to sit up there and act like it's no big deal. No, you are wrong. Amari, the floor is yours. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I, I, I understand what you guys are saying, right? Both of you guys are making really good points. And I think what, what Jay is saying is that for, 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 for Anthony Davis, what we need him to do is get healthy, right? So you want to take at least a month and a half to get your body in order, get yourself in shape, and then get prepared for your training. Every summer you train, you elevate your training depending on your, your progress within your training regimen, right? So you start out with agility. You start out with, you know, uh, corrective exercises. You build up to explosiveness. So it's a, it's a strategic planning for training in the summertime. Now, granted, a Anthony Davis not J.J. Redick, right? J.J. is all one of the all-time great three-point shooters. Anthony Davis may not be that, but he is a very versatile player, So which requires you to train more on the basketball court than normal. Why? Because you got, your, your ball handling skills got to be developed. Your post game got to be developed. Your mid-range game got to be developed. Your elbow, your space on the court got to be developed, and your three-point shot. In order to get all that work in, you have to start a little bit earlier. Now, for me, I always took maybe, you know, three weeks off from, like, basketball just to give my legs a chance to recuperate and get myself ready. But two months, two and a half months is a little bit stretched for, for someone who needs to work on his game and try to get to a championship caliber space. So I don't think it's a big deal. But I do think Anthony Davis should start making, first of all, make sure his body's healthy. So, Because like you were saying, Stephen A., if he's not healthy enough, if he is healthy, he's top seven player in the league. If he's not healthy, then it's, it's detrimental for, for the Lakers. So it's about getting his body healthy first and then now taking that to the basketball court and improving as a player as you go through the, through the offseason. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.